Come over here to number eight. We're still on worksheet number two. This right here, does that look familiar? Yes, that is what's called a perfect square trinomial. So I can rewrite this as what? X minus 5 squared equals 64. Then boom, we can go ahead and square root both sides and solve it. Okay? So then your answer would obviously be 5 plus or minus the square root of 8. Okay? And if we would review that... <laughs> no, 5 plus or minus 8. So anyway, 13 and negative 3. Okay? 9. What would this part be? B plus 2 squared equals 15. And then it's easy to solve. Square root both sides and add 2, or subtract 2. Okay? So that's what this is getting around 2. 13 looks different. But what's half of three in a fraction form? Three halves. three halves. If I take three halves and square it, I get nine fourths. So, but the bottom line is you take your middle term, divide it by two, square it. Okay. Here we go. This is where I wanted to be. All that was for this. Okay? One through four, go. Find the constant that makes that a perfect square trinomial. Okay, looks like everybody's kind of real close. One, what is it? Uh, nine. nine, two, three, four hundred, because half of 40 is 20. Take that square, it, I get 400. And then this one, 12 square, what, 144? Mm -hmm. You should have been able to do all that without a calculator. Please, 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 please. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we need to get where we can solve by completing the square. So, this, honestly, we don't have near enough room to do on this sheet of paper. So, you're gonna get another sheet of paper, and you're gonna rewrite this, and you're gonna rewrite it in a special way. Right now, the constant, there isn't a constant. My constant's, constant's wrong, so I'm going to leave a spot for the right one. So I'm going to rewrite it as w squared minus 8w, and then something equals 65. Okay? So what, what goes in this, in this space here? I'm going to actually, what do I get? 16. Plus 16. Now I put a space on both sides, why? If I add something to the left side to keep it balanced, I gotta add something to the right side. So I gotta add 16 over here too. I can't just say, hey, here, you have 16 without doing it to the other side. So now why did we do that? Because now we've got one of those magical perfect square trinomials that we can rewrite as something squared. 
and that would be W minus four equals 81. And then it's gonna be a piece of cake to solve. Would anybody in here admit they don't like factoring? Raise your hand. Okay, I would say it's always at least half the class. If you don't like factoring, this is a way that will work all the time. Now, granted, in some situations, it's just a little uglier, but it's all right. So then I'm not even going to write out the rest. 4 plus or minus 9, 13, and negative 5. Okay? So we're going to just take our time. We're going to do several of these. Next one, c squared minus 12c equals 38. And now I'm going to put a blank on both sides to remind myself to go ahead and add something to both sides. Go ahead. And tomorrow's largely going to be a work day, so minutes left in the class. we're going to keep right on going. <clears throat> okay, seriously, stop where you're at. I want to give you another thing that might help you. One thing you could do is go ahead and put a blank there too, because you know we're going to rewrite it as a square. So then you could just do all of this just once. C minus, what's this? Six. Six squared. 36. 36. So if you want to add that underneath, that'll go ahead and help you with that. And what do we get? 72? 74, okay? And then the rest of it's easy to solve. Six plus or minus squared is 74. With 74, I don't think that reduces down. Two and 37, 37's prime, no. Okay? So, Let's set up this next one that first way. So if you like a little fill in the blank, there's all your blanks, fill them in, go. For number six. Divide by 2, square it. Divide by 2, square it. Because the opposite of multiplying it out. Multiplying it out, you had two of them, so you had to add them together, so they doubled. So. Holy cow, it is snowing. I don't know why, but I've always enjoyed doing that. I probably will until I die. If I had grandchildren, I'd be going, hey, look, it's snowing. Oh, yeah, stupid kid. So here we go. So negative eight, negative two. Just show me where you're at with this. Okay. We got one more. No, we got a couple more. Seven. 
So I'm gonna go boom, boom, boom. What time were you guys supposed to golf today? Uh, depends. I was supposed to golf at 9 20. I was supposed to tee off at 10 30. How long does it usually take you to golf? Six hours. Was it at 18? Yeah. Okay. You yeah, might have been able to squeeze it in. It was raining. I looked at lunch, it was raining there. Oh, really? Oh, where is it at? Columbus. Oh, okay. Okay. Always golf at 8 Okay. Two plus minus squared of eleven. There we go. That's an exact answer. Okay. So one. You know what? I'm gonna write one of my own. Okay, now this one's in a little bit different form because the 10's on the left side. So what do I got to do with the 10 to start with? Got to get it over the other side. Get it out of there. It's not right. Oh, not three. It should be six. No. Yeah, six. So move your 10 over and then go. Because right now, it's, it's holding that spot that we want to fill something else into. So, get it over. And then it's going to be the same exact problem we did before. This one might be a little different, which is okay. I think you guys can do it. Sweet. Now this one's a little tougher. This is checking to see if you remember something I haven't taught you yet. Does anybody want to take a brave swipe at what the answer is? Like the whole thing? Yeah. Um, X equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 19. Nope. No? Nope. Go, since I picked on you earlier. Go. Boom. Yeah, 
negative 10 when it goes over the inside. Okay? Okay. So, um, so that's just something that um, yeah. you guys remember that hopefully negative 1 is a, the square root of negative 1 is i. Um, so, for tonight, I know at the very least we tomorrow are going to do these. And then I've got some other ones I'm going to select as well. But those are not, not something you have to do tonight. You're going to have time to work on that tomorrow because as you hear from my pocket, it's saying we have one minute left. So tomorrow we're going to make the transition from here to quadratic formula.